Just a few blocks away from the world-renowned Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, we have this winter wonderland. That's right, Happy Arm Bistro and Bar has that festive feeling on the outside, but on the inside is where the holiday magic comes alive. I can't wait, let's go check let's it out. Go. Let's go, go. Wow, this is amazing. It's beginning oh to look God. a lot of course, I won't yes. sing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sing, it's a festive is... move. I mean, it's just so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, the candy cane. It really is like stepping back in time, too, because some, a lot of these decorations just bring me back from my youth. What I love about this, it, it does bring me back in time. And this is only the first floor. This is an overload to the senses. I'm, as at each place I look, I find something else. Like, oh, I remember that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of different. That's one big uh, teddy bear Santa's there. bag. What's in there? Oh, my is God. That a, is that the real Santa sack? Hello. Look at this little guy. What's your name? <laughs> well, she naughty or nice? <laughs> we'll talk later. You think we've seen everything, we've seen it all. There is so much more. But this is like such a throwback to being a child again. I just love it. I want I need go. more of this right now, that's I for know, sure. I know, so do I. And this is like all Instagrammable, by the way. This is this is where I'll take my shot. There, there it is. Wait, let me get my phone. Let's see what's in there, Chris. It, it does have a family feel for sure, especially in this area, and it brings it all together. And I wanna know how long it took them to put all of this together. We've got a question. We need to find the guy who has the answers. I usually normally start on a Friday, and it somehow I finish by the next Monday. We actually have a crew of about 15 to 20 people. Is there a fave? I would say the entrance, right? And then when you walk in, like the reindeers and stuff like that. And then you have the Santa, then you have the snowman, and then the stairwell. The ambiance is great, you know? Then you add all these decorations and all this feel of Christmas. You could do all this, and if you don't know how to serve a drink or you don't know how to serve a dish of food, it's, it's all in waste. So we're lucky that we have both of that. Speaking of which, that's our next step. Incoming. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the yeah, gentlemen, we'll have the classic French steak fritz. New York strip with some good old cut, fresh cut French fries. Oh. We, they hand cut these and they brine them and they leave them overnight and Ooh. then they cook them in fresh oil. We have a, uh, a quinoa salad with uh, uh, roasted cauliflower, broccoli, tomatoes, and topped with a sliced avocado. I would definitely say this is a festive dish and it brings me in a festive mood. There's something that's really kind of stealing the show on this table. These are holiday driven drinks? Yes. So we're going to start out with uh, our non-alcoholic version, which we call Winter Flowers. We got uh, fresh lemon, strawberries and raspberries with a little lychee. This is so perfect. And right here we have uh, Mama Claus is coming to town, oh. right? And uh, it's basically a take on a Paloma, which is uh, sage infused mezcal with a little plum and uh, a touch of uh, lime. Right next to it over here, with the s'mores looking thing on top is the uh, Jingle Bell Rock. It's basically a take on an old fashioned. Don't think of it as a sweet cocktail because when you taste it, you're gonna be like, oh, mama. It's got a bit of a kick, but not too much of a kick. New York at Christmas, it's it's obviously, it's very special, very unique place. And I think in all honesty, Papillon adds to that. Thank Just you. Just by walking in that door. Yes. It's a big Christmas hug. It really is. Well, I have shopping to do, so let's cheers. Drink oh, a glass with me. Holidays. Happy holidays. Salud. Cheers.